SummerSlam returning back into the Thunderdome. It won't be actual people. They will be televised. Everyone will be on monitor, and it will be the closest thing to the in-ring action that we haven't seen here for months. Now, what's going to happen? A lot of matches. I want to go ahead and relive some of the cool stuff that has gone down and some of my favorite memories from SummerSlam, whether it's your boy Rollins, Undertaker versus Austin, Big Dog versus Beastie, but the main event, the match of that night will be for the Universal Championship as well as the WWE. We'll get in detail and find out who's going to come out right here also with the United States Championship. We got a lot to hop around here, man. We also got to go to a backstage area. So if you guys are joining here, if you're stopping over to the WHF fan for the first time, first of all, hit the subscribe. Come drop a like. What do you think, MVP? I've already done that, bro. Matter of fact, not only did we do that, but we also ended up capturing the brand new United States Championship title. Free figure giveaway. Again, go on the channel, man. That one has gone live. That's the newest edition. We won't know until we get to the Mattel. So so WWE figure artist is bringing it right here to the channel as well as a bunch. Come on, Apollo. Get up, man. New winner. We'll determine that come Sunday. Asuka also getting two chances. Not one, but two for the Raw Women's Championship as well as the SmackDown. Now, what'd she do? She stepped into the locker room. She said, oh, we got the SmackDown champions over here. We got the tag team champions of Asuka. That ain't going to be enough. You're going to have to do a lot more because Asuka is going to bring that as well as Braun Strowman trying to cost interference. We had a match right here at SummerSlam. It was Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. And guess what? Right here, Braun Strowman, he came out that night. He says, I don't care who's going to be at the end of the night. I'm still going to come out ahead, whether it's Roman Reigns or the Beast. And what happened? He captured him right there with the spear. We had Roman Reigns capturing the championship. But will Randy Orton be able to do that? Will we see the same outcome if the rated RKO comes one-on-one -on -one versus Drew McIntyre? We'll find out because Drew, he's already done his homework. He written it out. He was taking notes he says I know exactly what I gotta do and we won't know man because there is supposed to be a match between here and edge and we'll talk about that once we get to the back because right here it's gonna occur one more time we need the tiebreaker man we've already seen one on one hero fix stop it when you're talking about edge and Randy Orton we gotta see what's going on with the fiend now we actually already saw the death Braun Strowman has already gone right there into the swamp he came out looking like Shrek and yes a bald scan wherever he might be oh there he's back there <laughs> we'll Cover you just a sec. Braun Strowman wants to know the answer if he's gonna die one more time, man. And he did. He came out looking like a beast, and we actually have a mask over there in the corner. I'm telling you, we gotta navigate through this entire thing because there is more stories that develop from this. Because Fiend is gonna bring it. He might bring the chain. He might try choking him out. You killed him once. He came back as an animal. You kill him twice. You don't want to do that, man. John Cena wants to do that. He says, "Yo, SummerSlam, me, you, Rollins, top at the peak, right here with the side goons." That's when Rollins was doing the thing, man. Now, not over here so much when he's doing it over here with Diamond. I get it. They're trying to build character. But you got one of the best superstars at SummerSlam. Again, we'll see more development once we do get the outcome. And we'll get more in depth right there because I know you're already wanting to know the formula on that. Hope you like it. Undertaker, we love it, dude. Especially if you're going to be a gentleman like that. We had WrestleMania, SummerSlam versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. And he says, you did a hell of a match, man. You took me to the limit. In return, I'm going to present you with the championship. And that's how you do it. Undertaker... This was prime right here. WCW Wars. This match was highly anticipated. So much going on on the other brand. But WWF, they just kept bringing the fight. Really dug that. And are we going to dig this? Let's see. Let's just go ahead and say he does retain the championship. right? Braun Strowman, he manages to walk out ahead with the win. Fiend is going to be like, no, 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 no. We got to bring back the old championship, right? Universal Championship in blue. All right. Looks good. But when you're talking about the Fiend mask on that actual belt, you know that Braun's going to bring it, man. He's going to bring an extra mask. That that's the rumor right now. They're talking about him potentially wearing like a mask as a monster and bringing more of a fiend feel to this whole matchup. Really cool, man. I can't wait for this or to see what will develop, but I got to go with, well, you know what? Let's go to the backstage area because I'm sure we'll get a little bit more answers. One of the first things that you'll probably learn from this is that, yes, if you are going to the backstage, go down, see what's going on in the lunchroom. Get your cafeteria going before your match. You need about 25 minutes to prep up. Maybe you need some pre-workout or getting your workout right here in the backstage that's what we're doing we're gonna do that but the one thing you absolutely cannot do under any circumstance that's going to the bro room and who's in the bro room we got matt riddle we got jeff hardy they're getting broed up and what else do they do well they got to do the face paint there's a lot of stories behind this but just know that we got corbin over here being trash as usual hanging out right by it and that's why you're gonna get kicked man you're gonna get kicked through the third wall we're breaking every wall today and our truth will he retain the championship well let's see drake maverick he's putting up his little 
Daniel sign. He wants an R-Truth 24-7 wanted sign. So if anybody does see him through these hallways, they're going to go out and report it. It's not like the school teacher. You're not going to get in trouble if you're a principal and then the student's breaking the law. No, it's actually the complete opposite because this is about retaining that championship that he's carrying around over here. Getting the kick out of these two. If you guys haven't checked them out, go check out the review, dude. Our truth we got Drake. We got to relive all the moments that happened right here, not just in WWE, but also with the WHF family. And that being none other than the title breaker that we were talking, right? We need to divide it. Let's put it on the line. Let's put the championship on the line with it all. Edge, Randy Orton, one more time. Who's going to be victorious? Well, the tiebreaker, that's going to be determined down the road. Because if you do look at the big picture, I mean, we still have one more obstacle, and that being Drew McIntyre, our current WWE championship. He's getting thirsty, dude. He just had a rough one. Before even get into the arena, the man wouldn't listen. He was standing in front of the line, and it was about 30 to 25 minutes before he actually got here to the Thunderdome. Now, when he did, he got his soda, and guess what's going on? We got Otis right here, still as the Money Bank. Well, how many people have remembered this, right? Money in the Bank winner. He hasn't cashed in. It doesn't have to happen on SmackDown. It could be against Drew McIntyre, but if it does happen, just know that they got one more concern, one more worry, and that being Sonia Deville. Yes, we got the razors. We're ready to do some cutting. We already got a short haircut. We're trying to bring the Bailey look, but she's going to bring something more devastating. Some you don't want to be a part of. I mean, you could wear a wig, but she ain't trying to wear a wig, and if you do, just know that you ought to be checking your drinks before every single use. You can't just go and trust and assume that everything on that table is legit. No, and that's what happened with the Street Profits, right? The man's on the chair. He's pushing him. He's got to get him to a secure, safe situation, because once Angel Garza right here and Andrade step in, yeah, dude, it's going to be a match, and hopefully he's doing best. Wishing on both of these guys right here, but the best. This was a setup, man. Really appreciate you guys joining me. If you are stopping to the channel for the first time, don't get RKO'd. Don't get Randy Orton all upset and be like, RKO, Hero Fix, hit subscribe now, drop a like, and we'll see you on the next one. Get out of my way, man. I want to get some of that Mountain Dew.